Today, I'm with the world famous Chevrolet Chase. Is Chevrolet. that what it's short for? Why do they call him Chevy, Chevy Chase? I don't know. Is that short for Chevrolet? Well, didn't you say his son was like Ford or something? <laughs> no. Or wasn't so it was pulling your chain. Oh, maybe. I thought you said his son was like... People are going to think we're, they're pull, we're pulling their chain today because we have Makita. Yeah. Seafoam yep. green. Basically, when I was a kid, used to fix cars or whatnot, you know, stereo installer, all that good stuff. I used to use Makita 9.6 volt, like, religiously. Dude, those things were awesome. Yeah, you drop you them, see them all over the place. run over by cars. I still see them today. I know, isn't it amazing? Like, I'm not leaving my old NICAD stick pack. It's like, whoa. Yeah. You ever heard of lithium ion? Yeah. <laughs> But that's how good those things were. Yeah, they were really good. Um, but Makita has come out with this new chainsaw. Now, cordless chainsaws, you're thinking, ah, that doesn't have that much power. But since lithium ion technology, we're starting to see a lot of that power. And uh, basically, last year or the year before, I think, no, 2011, I was at GIE, which is the Ground Industry Expo. Basically, all lawnmowers, you know, hardscape, stuff like that. And Oregon had released their new cordless chainsaw but i believe it had a battery that was built into the unit that you had to charge had a cool feature where you could charge it or sharpen the chain but the thing was like six seven hundred dollars mm -hmm. so you know that was one of the first ones i seen in the market though that actually like looked like it had promise to it i think it was a 40 volt um but now makita's come along and i don't know this thing's pretty impressive this is cool. I know, you know, when I think of Makita, I always think of like concrete tools, stuff like stuff like that. Hardcore Trade users. Men. Yeah, you know, I never really thought of them. Even though they've got a full line of gas-powered chainsaws, uh, I never really thought of them about like landscaping tools and stuff oh, like that. Landscapers, a lot of landscapers use Makita backpack blowers. And that's what I'm finding out now. That the more I've been looking into this, the more I'm seeing a lot more Makita stuff out there in terms of so. But anyways. This thing, I gotta admit, this thing is cool. It's Makita came up with one of the coolest inventions, I think. Basically, Makita's got the largest 18 volt line out there out of anybody. So what someone did is someone had the bright idea to say, hey, let's take an existing line we already have and make a pack that we can slide onto a tool, put two 18 volt batteries and turn it into a 36 volt tool, which I think is so cool. Now they've had this out. They they use it for some of the rotary uh, tools, stuff stuff along that line. And I think it, they did this last year. But this is actually new to market. What I like about it is I don't have to invest in a new battery platform. If I've already got Makita, I'm already a Makita fan. I've already got the 18 volts. I can basically see. Now you're just messing it up, aren't you? What? Now you're just messing uh, up. No, it's tightening up for you. It's actually really loose. It, no. What? I'll look at it. We'll go over that in a it second. It was really loose, Eric. I was tightening it up yeah, okay. for you. And that's the cool thing about this. It's tool yeah. free. It's very, yeah, it that's is. That's awesome. Because when is. you're on the job site, well, not job site, but when you're cutting down trees and you have to whip out a tool, which most of the time is separate from the tool and you can't find it, mm -hmm. it's huge. Yeah. <clears throat> no, you're right. Uh, on the back, it has a push button so you can see the battery uh, gauge on both of the packs. But again, I just think this is cool because you don't have to carry around. You got 18 volt, now all of a sudden go to the 36 volt. Gives now, you the you, option. Yeah, now if you have the 36 volt, they do make this in a 36 volt, where it's a 36 volt battery. But I do I do like the option of this. Uh, 12 inch bar, it's got a lot of your standard stuff like Dan was saying. It's, well, 12 inch bar, brake in the front. Tool weighs about, or it's, the saw weighs about 11.2 pounds and that's with the batteries, so it's not bad at all. It's very nice. Like Dan was saying, it's got the toolless blade adjustment right on the side, tighten, loosen the blade. See through for the gauge chain. for the oil. Nice large reservoir for that see through. Very easy to fill up. You know, it's nice because you don't have to worry about spark plugs. You don't have to worry about gas. You don't have to worry about all that. It's that the stuff. startup, plus you have replaceable brushes, which is going to extend the life of the unit. Exactly. Metal hook right down here. So if you want to tie it to a oh, rope, I like that. How that comes in and out like that. Yeah, isn't that cool? Well, yeah, what people would use these for is that they call them top saws. Basically, they'll hook it to their tree belt. Tree toppers. Yeah, they'll, they'll hook it to their belt. Light saws they like because they climb yep. up to the top of the tree and cut, 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 cut. Yeah. That's what these are great for. Oh, yeah. Well, you see, we took it out actually to an arborist, and he used it, and it, he actually liked it a lot. I mean, it was he was using it for when he, was, he had the big branches that are thrown through the tripper, chipper. He'd make relief cuts with some of the branches, so when it went to a trip, chipper, it would bend down and go in there a lot easier. He liked it, which we're showing you right now. Obviously, a full-time arborist, is, this is not going to be his tool. He's no. going to stick with the gas. But, yeah, exactly. You know, for smaller applications, applications where you may only need an hour of runtime a day, 
This is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, you're going to get longer than an hour. I mean, it's 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 a nice saw. Oh, yeah, it's great. It. It's great for, you know, if you own a ranch, you got to do some brush clearing, something along that line. A landscaper who does certain things but maybe want, wants to, you know, cut down a small little tree or some branches to offer that service, which is nice. It's nice, like Dan said, instant power. You don't have to worry about messing with gas, oil, spark plugs, any of that and other stuff. 1,650 feet per minute? Yep. <clears throat> yeah. It's a pretty nice Three-year warranty. Yeah. You know, I gotta say, you break. The tool is uh, being able to do that. It's just nice. It's a nice saw, and this thing really surprised me. I wouldn't think really an electric, you know, or a battery-powered chainsaw would be Powerful. as good as it is. But I gotta well, it's say, it's designed. I mean, it's got its own little market. It's got its own little spot where it's just perfect. Yeah, it is. You know, granted, you're not gonna be cutting down hundred-foot oak trees with this. No. Thing. Uh -uh. But for the smaller applications where you're not using it all day constantly and you don't mm -hmm. need the extended runtime like gas offers, yep. this is the thing to go. And another thing you need to know about this is quiet. You know, yeah, you're working in a neighborhood, a senior area, a senior citizen home or a residential area where you just don't want to make the noise, yep. boom, use this thing. Like me, if I was going to cut down, because I know when you cut down trees around here, you have to get a permit. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm going at night with this thing. <laughs> Two o'clock in there, see with the <laughs> lamp on your head. Cutting. It's perfect. Got my yeah. night vision on. Yeah. <laughs> trees are going to be dropping everywhere. No, take that back. I'm yeah, probably going to get a visit. <laughs> I wouldn't say that village. on camera. No, I, would, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Are you kidding? I pay my taxes and... But I gotta say, when Makita developed this thing, I just think this is, a, to me, it's a game changer. I like it because you don't have to invest in brand new batteries. They can uh, put it in a hammer line. drill too, SDS. Yeah, the rotary stuff. So, and I'm sure they're gonna be coming out with other, you know what, we're gonna be doing a blower, Makita blower, and this is a 36 volt, uses the same type of system with this. And, well, we'll go into that later when we do that review, but it's, I have to say, I am really surprised with you know, not surprised because I know Makita makes great stuff, but I'm just surprised. I never knew in landscaping their stuff was, you know, never even really knew they were landscaping. Huge. Never knew that they were actually huge. such good tools in there too. So, well, their it's, backpack blowers are huge. Yeah. I mean, it's it's nice stuff, and man, whoever thought of this idea, this is so cool. So that's about it. That's the Makita chainsaw. I mean, if you're looking for something that's good, that's portable, you don't have to worry about gas. Maybe you're not even using it every day. Uh, something along that line. This thing's perfect. It's going to surprise you. It's one of those tools you actually have to get your hands on and actually cut some wood to truly see how this thing works. But that's about it. You got anything to add? No, it's cool. I can't wait to see the other 36 volt stuff that we're going to test out. Sounds good. Exciting times. All right. Still in action.